Welcome to Arizona State University's University Academic Success Programs. This video will cover the topic Linear Programming Model Formulation. Linear Programming, also called Linear Optimization, is a method to achieve the best outcome such as maximum profit or lowest cost in a mathematical model whose requirements are represented by linear relationships. To formulate the model, we have to find out decision variables, objective function, and the constraints. Let's see an example to understand those terms. Find the number x1 and x2 that maximizes the sum x1 plus x2 subject to the constraints x1 greater than or equal to 0, x2 greater than or equal to 0, and x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 4, 4x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 12, negative x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 1. What is a decision variable? A decision variable is a quantity that the decision maker controls. We want to find out two numbers x1 and x2. So x1 and x2 are called decision variables. What is an objective function? The function to be maximized or minimized is called objective function. Here we have to maximize the sum x1 plus x2. So it is our objective function. What are the constraints? The constraints are the restrictions on the value of decision variables. The values of decision variables must satisfy the constraints. There are five constraints in this example. Good. How do we formulate the problem? Let us formulate the linear programming model with an example. A company manufactures two models of a product, which we call the regular model and the enhanced model. Two resources A and B are needed for the manufacturing of units of this product, and the detailed resource requirements are given in the following table. This means three units of resource A and two units of resource B are consumed in the manufacturing of each unit of the regular model. The resources could represent hours of labor, amounts of raw materials, or available electric power. Suppose further that the company has 650 units of resource A and 500 units of resource B available per week, and that the net profits for selling units of the regular model and the enhanced model are given $5 and $7 per unit. The question of interest is, what are the optimal weekly production levels for these two models? To formulate this model, we first define the set of decision variables. Since we have to find the optimal weekly production levels for these two models, let us define the decision variables as XR is equal to weekly production level for the regular model and XE is the weekly production level for the enhanced model. These variables should be non-negative because they represent physical quantities. Next, suppose our goal is to maximize weekly total profit. Then, in terms of decision variables, we have to find out the objective function. Net profit from selling regular models is $5 and there are XR numbers of regular models to be produced per week. So, weekly profit from regular models will be 5XR. Similarly, Weekly profit from the enhanced model will be 7xe. So, weekly total profit would be 5xr plus 7xe. And we wish to choose a pair of values for xr and xe that yields the highest possible weekly total profit. However, from the table above, we see that there are limitations or constraints on the possible values of these variables. Specifically, we have three units of resource A are required for regular model and four units of resource A are required for enhanced model. So weekly requirement for resource A is equal to 3XR plus 4XE. Similarly, two units of resource B are required for regular model and three units of resource B are required for enhanced model. So weekly requirement for resource B is equal to 2XR plus 3XE. Therefore, the values of XR and XE should be such that these requirements do not exceed 650 and 500 respectively. Our problem can now be stated formally 
as maximize 5xr plus 7xe subject to 3xr plus 4xe less than or equal to 650, 2xr plus 3xe less than or equal to 500, xr greater than or equal to 0, xe greater than or equal to 0. To conclude, to formulate a linear programming model, find out the decision variables, objective function to be maximized or minimized, and the constraints to be satisfied.